Hello, everybody, and welcome to Spiel Digital. I'm Sebastian uh, from Ripple's Production, and uh, we are here today to uh, do an uh, unboxing of all the Seven Wonders V2 uh, collection. So, um, fasten your seat belts. Uh, emergency exits are on this way and that way, and let's go. So. Three players eight with the description of every card. And the coins, which are exactly, I think, the same from the previous version. Uh, and the military tokens, which are a bit different. The defeat tokens are more readable and the victory token are more badass in my humble opinion the wonders in themselves have changed uh, we have rebalanced uh, some costs uh, some production resources and uh, some effects have changed too they are also bigger, as you can see. And instead of uh, A and B faces, we have a day face and a night face. The fact that they are bigger uh, is paradoxically, um, the, the goal of that is to make it more easy to, uh, to deal with all the cards. And so, if you play with all the expansion, for example, it will take less space than in the previous version, even if the wonders are bigger and more readable. Of course, they have all been redesigned, so all the pictures are now different. This one is one of my favorites. And last but not least, Babylon and Babylon by night. The score pad, let's, buy, let, let's pass by this. It's quite the same, but also more readable. Uh, small, uh, okay. uh, sm small fact that I've uh, missed, uh, this uh, second version of, uh, of Seven Wonders is totally uh, blind, uh, blind color friendly. So, as you can see on the pad, each color, each card, each type of card, is now uh, accompanied by a symbol. And so, even if you are colorblind, you can play easily. Another difference is the back 
of the ages cards. So first age, so the bronze age, it's bronze. Uh, the faces of the cards have changed too, as you can see. So now all the text is in the up side of the cards. So when you put your cards, let's say like that. Uh, so the back of the cards, um, I have a question from, uh, from the chat. That's why I looked there. So uh, yeah, the cards are in a metal uh, appearance from the back. Obviously, the front is not, but yeah, they are a bit shiny. So if you put your cards right there, you get all the informations and you don't lose anything but the images, which are quite good, but we don't need it to, uh, to play the game. Another difference is about the, let me find one of them. Uh, okay, the chaining system. Uh, for the many of you who already played Seven Wonders Duel, it's the same um, picture, same system. So, for example, the well that you can see has this small symbol here. And obviously, you will find the same symbol under the cost of the H2. Let me find it so we can... There you are. So the statue from H2 has the same symbol closed to the cost. Once again, it's more readable than the previous one. Uh, to, be, uh, to be fair, it's not only a relooking of the cards. Uh, some cards have been uh, rebalanced uh, about their cost, their production. Some cards have been removed and replaced by new ones. So, uh, really, um, a rebalancing of the game. It's the same about the wonders. Uh, some uh, wonders, some construction costs of the wonders have been changed. Um, some, one, some resources, for example, were a bit too present compared to others, uh, and that has been uh, arranged. H2, so the iron age, with a silver back, an iron back. Ah, another question, written smaller. Ah, so uh, one people on the chat ask, uh, did we change the value of the victory, military victory points? Uh, because uh, he or she thinks they don't give enough rewards. Well, we didn't. Uh, and uh, if you think it's not enough, maybe you should change your tactic. So H2, same principle, so always readable. And as you see, the training system And let's switch to age three, which is the golden age. So always with a metallic back, but a golden one. And all the cards, same principle. Oh, another question. Oh, so Beta Vulga said, you love my t-shirt. Thank you. It's the one we, we made for the seventh anniversary of Seven Wonder. Um, we might have made a new one for this year if Fessen uh, had been uh, in real life, but unfortunately, we are in a virtual way, and so uh, we kept that T-shirt, which is, I recognize, quite badass. Thanks. Last but not least, the box in itself. As you can see, there are two places to put all the coins because, as you can see, there is the small coin symbol in that. And 
the military victory and defeat points in that place. Well, if you are a rebel, you can place them otherwise, but that's how they are intended to be put in. So that's about it, except if you have any other question, don't hesitate. For the big and the main box of Seven Wonders, Let's put it back and let's go to the leaders one. Just so you know, um, since I'm wasting time putting that back, um, the, um, the one of you who have uh, known about the anniversary packs, remember the t-shirt, uh, we made for the seventh anniversary, some anniversary packs, which were uh, 15 cards, I think, uh, for the a mini expansion for the leaders and the city's expansions. In this version, uh, these cards are present in the, in the original boxes, so you don't need to uh, get it from elsewhere. So let's switch to leaders. Up. Hello, Cleopatra. First of all, the two wonders, Abu Simbel, which was in the um, another expansion. Um, I don't remember the, the the name of this expansion right now. I drank only one coffee starting. The wonder pack. So Abu Simbel was in the Wonder Pack in this version. It's in the core box. Roma, which was already in the leader's expansion box. New coins, because as you know, in leaders, there's uh, much more money. You already start with more money. The rules also revised to be easily readable and uh, understandable and more fluent to explain. Also, the descriptions of the new leader's effects. Three, so even if you play at seven, everybody gets one close. The score pad, still colorblind friendly, as you can see all the symbols. And now the cards. Like the other cards, it's set up so you can pile them and get all the effects readable. So still a win of place because the names of the cards are up. Um, like the Seven Wonders, you might think there is no change except the look, but uh, that's not true. Some of the characters have been um, rebalanced. Um, the cost of uh, some uh, leaders too. So once again, it's not only a re-edition, it's really a rebalancing of the game. Also, all the leaders, as you can see, e even the ones from um, the city's anniversary pack are in the box. And they are um, divided uh, between uh, some um, easy expert and expansions uh, logo. So you don't get lost even if they are all in one pack. Once again, the easy uh, picking area for the coins. Let's put them back. If the chat has no further question for leaders, I think we can switch to cities. So let's put them back.
Ah, a question. Yeah, uh, when is it out? Leaders will be uh, in all your favorite shops uh, late November. So let's switch. They were hesitating about the date, I think, but yeah, late November it is. And now let's go to the city's expansion. So let's put it there. Once again, a new rule, more fluent. Still with the colorblind explanations, of course. And also, as you can see, the QR code, if you have any doubt, that will get you to the frequently asked questions site. Still, free help for the players. So every player can share one with his, with his or her neighbor. Um, another question from uh, Fox Natura. Is it possible to put all the expansions uh, with the thermoforming in the big box? And it's a very good question. I'm going to ask to Nicola. Okay, so if you remove the term of forming, you can put all the expansions in the box, but you have to remove it, of course. Or to keep it, to keep it aside so you can still pick the money. About that, as you can see, uh, in the city's expansion, there is the, um, also the new coins. The pacifism uh, token has been changed. It's even more cuter, cuter, yeah. Still more. And now Byzantium by night and Byzantium by day. And Petra, the second wonder. And by day. Uh, good news. That's why they were hesitating. Uh, the Seven Wonders Leaders expansion will not be out late November, but late October or early November. The scoring pad going with cities. Still colorblind friendly. And the new city card that are recognizable due to the black border of the cards and to the logo downstairs. Um, the city's expansion cards, are, uh, the leader's expansion card, uh, I think, yeah, they are also they also have this logo depending of which expansion they are related to. So even if you put all the expansions in one box, but just want to start with the Seven Wonder, that works. So as usual, all readable at the top of the cards. New illustrations and also a rebalancing of some cards. And exactly the same uh, term of forming as in leaders, so you can collect all the tokens easily. If you have no other question, we can pass to my favorite expansion, Armada.
There we are. <clears throat> so, let's open that one. Once again, a new rule more fluent, still colorblind friendly, as you can see. We have the same logo in all the rules, but that's the first time I, I step on it, so I take the chance to show it to you. So, quite the same. The rules are more fluent. Still the QR code for the frequently asked question if you need it. Free player helps with all the effects of the cards, the fleet and the islands symbols that are new in this expansion. The Syracuse I wonder, which was a goodie from uh, the first version, is now in the box included. And Syracuse by night. The new tokens. So the defeat tokens are quite the same, uh, a bit uh, darker. Um, the victory ones are different, though. So you can even more uh, know which one is uh, from Armada or the original Seven Wonders. And uh, distant conflict token. And still more money. Ah, a question of Varg Fils de Groom. Is it still possible to play with all the expansions at the, at the same time? Yes, of course. You can combine all of them or pick one or two of them. All the combination will give you a totally different uh, gaming experience. Uh, and if you want to know if uh, at which point it's possible, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but we are going to play a live uh, full game with all the expansions at 4 p.m. Yeah, that's what uh, he was telling me too. So uh, I will be playing, there, by the way, so I'm eager to be there because uh, uh, I just did it once, I think. So that will be my second fully full Seven Wonders game. Let's go back to, to Ar Armada. So, the fleet boards, as previously, each board is a bit different uh, about uh, the price of the, um, of the boat um, and the place where you can uh, combine when you build your resource to move the boat. Still, as you can see, small changing about the logos to be colorblind friendly too. Yep. The score pad. The boats, which are Also, easily pickables with the, the new forming, thermal forming. And now the cards. First of all, the island cards, uh, which uh, are much different from the first version. So instead of uh, different trees, one tree for first islands, two trees for second islands, now it's more fluent. One logo, first islands. Two logos, 
Chicken Islands. And yeah, you guessed well. Three logos, third islands. Once again, the effects of the islands and the illustrations have been revised. Let me show you some of them. And also, you get some new cards from age one, two, and a three. They have the same symbolics and design than the other versions. So, than the other expansions, of course, not the previous version. Uh, they have all. They are all readable at the top of the cards. They have the small symbol in the bottom left. If you want to play without them, once you have mixed them all, and some new fun effects that you're gonna see and discover when you play the game. So. If there is not a question, ah. so first question, uh, Paul Vargas say, are you going to show the Seven Wonders dual expansions? Yes, see you tomorrow for that, uh, because each day will be dedicated to a game. So today will be all about Seven Wonders. Tomorrow will be all about Seven Wonders dual. On Saturday, it's uh, just one, and on Sunday, it's concept. So, uh, but of course, you will be able to see all the live videos in uh, reviewing uh, anytime you want. And yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm spammed from everywhere. So, um, if you have no other question about uh, this unboxing, I will give you a rendezvous. Oh, first, Paul Vargas say, uh, we are setting up a Seven Wonders tournament by Board Game Arena. Do you recommend make it with Seven Wonders or Seven Wonders Duel? Make both of them. Uh, the advantage of uh, making a Seven Wonders tournament is that more people can, can join and uh, play together. The Seven Wonders Duel tournament, since in Board Games Arena, so you can make it too because it doesn't matter if there are 3,000 uh, players. It will just take a few more time. Uh, but I think uh, the Seven Wonders tournament would uh, imply more players in the same time. So if you really have to choose, go for Seven Wonders. And if you don't, make both of them. First of all... The armada. And so I'm almost finished here, but uh, see you at noon for a um, uh, game uh, in Board Game Arena uh, with uh, some uh, really cool guests. And uh, at 4 p.m. for, like I said, the full Seven Wonders uh, display game. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Enjoy your Essen. One last question. Uh, planning a match for Armada on the app? Not yet, uh, because we had some things to do, but in the future, yes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And uh, see you at noon for the next game. Enjoy your virtual lesson and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.